How's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be starting on the Franklin Project. This is a new project that we're starting on and we're basically gutting out everything. We're starting over and they're adding on. So we're gonna be putting in a five ton zone system. It's gonna have three zones. So today we're here to gut everything out, remove everything so we have a new clean canvas to get started. Let's do some work. This video is brought to you by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. And by RLS, original, patented, proven. How's it look down there? So this is the old Goodman heat pump that was located here. And uh, that's coming out. And the new unit's going to be actually a split on the opposite side of the house. So this is this is the front of the home. So we're getting the equipment away from the front of the house and then going back with the split. And I'll take you down to the basement and show you what that's going to look like. So here is the basement. Tons of room. This is another split unit. So this will be coming out. This will be the location of where the five ton air handler is gonna be. So we've got plenty of room for all the, the zoning that's gonna come off on the plenum box to feed this zone here. And then we're gonna add another zone through there. There's a garage that they're turning into livable space. So we'll get that onto a third zone. So here's the garage. They're turning into, a, I don't know, I guess a master suite. As you can see there, the floor is going to be elevated to that height all the way across. So our, our duct work will come right through here and everything will be in the floor to serve this area. So the first thing we did was remove all the power for that package unit so those guys can start removing that unit and all the duct work attached to it. And then now we're going to come over here to this split system and get it pumped down, get the refrigerant out of the lines. So that way they can cut that loose and get all that equipment as well. All right, so this is the unit we need to get pumped down. He's already got his gauges hooked up. You hook it up to the true suction line? All right, so that's a good question. Um, on heat pumps, you have a true suction port that goes directly to the compressor, basically. And then you got your vapor line here, and then you got your liquid line. So we're, we're gonna be pumping it down, which means we're gonna be using the compressor um, to pull the refrigerant into the condenser coil out of the rest of the system. So if we hook up to here, that's gonna be reading pressure on the inside of the unit. We don't want that. These ports read pressure from the valve this direction. And so we wanna make sure this direction is what, where we drop down to zero PSI. So to answer your question, no, you do not hook up to that port. You wanna hook up to your service valves. So what we're gonna do, it'll be in cooling mode. So you wanna shut down your liquid line service valve all the way, and then we'll push the contactor in and we'll let it run. We'll watch the pressure drop all the way down to, you know, five PSI roughly. You don't want to go below zero because you can damage the compressor. This is actually a good system. So we're going to keep it for training purposes. Um, so anyway, we want to let it run until it's down to about 10 PSI, five PSI, and then we'll uh, shut down our vapor service valve and then we should be good to go. Go ahead and start cranking down your vapor line. Faster. As fast as you can go now. As soon as you get it closed all the way, let go of the contactor. So check out this old wood stove, man. Solid cast iron. 
thing is so cool looking. Man, I'd love to have this in my shop. But this is gonna be fun to get out. All right, so we're getting this indoor unit disconnected for the guys so they can get everything removed. So basically we just got the electrical disconnected, the line set disconnected. That way they can come in here and uh, disconnect all the duct and just carry the unit out and not have to worry about power or refrigerant. So we're good. It's all disconnected. It's ready to go. All right, so we got to peel off and run a few service calls while the guys finish uh, pulling everything out. So they're good to go. Everything's disconnected power-wise, refrigerant-wise. So they just got to get all the ductwork taken out, equipment taken out, and there's going to be a dumpster set on spot, on site, so we don't have to worry about hauling anything off, which that's awesome. But that's going to complete today's video. This is just the first step in this project. We're going to be coming back and uh, getting things laid out and designed, and I'm going to go through the whole process with you guys on this particular project. I think it's gonna be a really good one. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But that's gonna complete today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later.